what is up y'all it's me tasha c and again i finally make another podcast or you know something to at least upload on social media and youtube and you know spotify and so forth <sighs> actually y'all i probably will upload this the next day but it's officially been a whole year of my year return since kind of a three-year hiatus of me like doing any recording of any kind um um as, as a whole year later and at least i didn't wait whole two months where i've been kind of been doing on and off in the past couple wait a minute four to, wait, four to six months i've been kind of been doing that um i'm getting better i mean this time was only a month but how are y'all doing y'all rookie retrograde has just went past um it's about to be made this upcoming wednesday may the 1st 2000 uh, 2024 so really my one year anniversary if i start like from fresh scratch as far as being you know my goal to be consistently on social media youtube podcast and whatever um was really the 28th but most likely i'm going to upload it tomorrow the 29th because it's already like 10 something p.m at night you know usually be later than that when i do my uh, podcast but anyway so y'all before i get into my podcast and the realm i'm going to uh, ramble about um you know sis we're still waiting for you to get on these youtube uh streets again with nini kitchens and with a possibly with a z kitchen okay her youtube channel you know she you know wants to get back on here so you know but she also needs to be motivated you know besides you know cooking and you know very cooking she'll do mukbangs she'll do story times probably uh, vlogs and so forth but you know we'll know that once you know not only subscribe and when she gets back on here okay but anyway y'all um besides like i said sis yes i'm gonna call call her out until she gets back on here and don't don't y'all forget y'all forget to subscribe to her channel on youtube it's nene's kitchen with a z nene n-e-n-e possibly z space just regular kitchen because if you don't put the z in something else come up they're just like y'all look for me on youtube or most of my stuff now is tasha ctv you gotta say Tasha C TV, because if not, I come out Tasha Cobbs, the the gospel singer, okay? <laughs> so you have to make sure you say Tasha C TV. Okay. Just you just the letter C and not you know C as I see you envision, okay? Um also don't forget to if you're looking for or for some wonderful candles, go to also my uh a, a sister um Jayla's the self-esteem queen who also is the owner um of the um, the company called light the mood which has phenomenal smell uh, candles and it's just the way how it sounds as in not you can go to lightthemood.com and get wonderful candles you can also go to her for reiki sound healing and so forth um and also you can contribute to her company she's also has told me that she's thinking about going back to youtube because i actually found her on youtube um years ago um uh, years ago so maybe i can both wait her to get on youtube as well as well but anyway like i said go to like the mood that they're one of her smelling candles you know like i said you, you can hear anything for overcoming anxiety even candles to help save you know you um will help with a bundle of joy just healing you know uh, help with the creating process and so forth and like again the, you go, like the mood the companies like the mood just you know, spell the right way you should put baby put the um together um say you look for her candles it's like the mood and they, they're created with soil um soil so it's you know it's not that other um like regular or like it's, it's you know like the cheaper wax you know they're you know they're premium candles but great premium candles believe me i know i can say that okay <laughs> enjoy their candles but anyway um this is another phenomenal person okay so while i got that out the way um april uh, is a month where i mean i'm glad i made him glad i'm coming you know glad i'm here but maybe, you know, yes, I'm one of those people who believe Mercury Retrograde because stuff has happened. I don't know if I mentioned it before, but th- th- dang, y'all, I had to deal with the fact that I, 
my order I had got from the grocery store, 75% I didn't get this time. And I didn't have this problem before. And, <laughs> and um, I, even, I had to get a release. I was able to instantly get a refund back. And then, but the guy, the person came back. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And they still only gave two out of the, what, the 13, 14, you know, like, I don't know, like I said, 75%. So even with them giving the two little things, you know, two things back, whatever, it was two things I didn't notice. I don't, oh, okay, like I said, I don't remember exactly. I had like 15 something items, whatever, missing. And I forgot two of them to add in so i would have to call in because it was two times i you know like clicked in the, the wallet world and said hey i didn't get the order um you know these things about order and they tell me to call but i'm like it's not you know big thing or whatever so even with the two items it kind of evened out you know what i mean as far as like even though i couldn't get a refund of the two items i forgot or didn't see at first were missing they return to the two other items so in, in the end it still was like it even out to the same amount e- even if they when they came back if they would have like gave orders because the time that person was gone i'm like looked and they said the order was here and you know to the pitch i'm like wait a minute that looks like barely one pack i look and by the time they came back and the guests even noticed and came back it was way past the time where it was like the person i'm sorry you just giving two out of items and it's several items missing that was a big chunk you know i hated to do it but hey i ain't about to sit here and pay like to you know 12 to 15 or something times more uh then what the items cost or whatever and that's just a minimum like 12 or 15 times more per item because things are missing heck g- groceries are already expensive there's it's a lot of things that are expensive nowadays even the things of the dollar tree any dollar tree no more it just should be called the tree shit or anything that got t- title with the do- dollar in it it just should be just called the dollar that's it just the dollar i mean just not even called the dollar just you know, family dollars are just called family currency. <laughs> or I don't really go to um like uh family dollar like that, but I'm just saying it's it's no longer the dollar tree. Now I mean if y'all are areas where they have dollar stores and they're like independent dollar stores, it's not with the company Dollar Tree. We all know like I mean, not we all know, but you know some of us know like the independent dollar stores, they always had items that may be more than a dollar. And now, since what last year, year before last, we got used to now the Dollar Tree now has not only items that now a dollar twenty-five is the minimum amount really, but now we have ones. Oh, this cost three dollars. This cost five dollars. This cost seven dollars. Ah, like I said, just name the their place the tree, the tree store. Ain't nothing a dollar no more. So why is we calling it a dollar? I mean, it was never, you know, you got that text, but you know what I mean? Like, as far as, like, being closest to the dollar it is, it, you know, it's farther away from it. Okay? <laughs> so, but, other than that, y'all, I know that I'm ranting and stuff, but, um, well, I live in Detroit, and we had, like, a record-breaking, I didn't know the NFL, NFL draft, I guess they pick different cities every year or whatever other year, and this year, it was actually held in Detroit. Um, there was a, a record-breaking amount downtown that was like, what, 700,000 people? But the good thing was, is that even, not only was that record-breaking, but at least to my knowledge, and you know, that what I read so far, or have heard, it has not been all oh, this violence and stuff attached knock on wood i got my little wooden board my little brick here knock on wood because i'm close to it it has not been record breaking or breakings where we're seeing all this crime and stuff out there you know what i'm saying people be think you know it's you know stereotypes and all that stuff um um you know like that means from you to Detroit, that means such and such, 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 you know, fill in the blank, whatever, right? But that's BS. But anyway, y'all, you know, what's also, um, 
interesting enough is in a minute sadly um tiktok nine times and ten is not gonna be here by next year in the u.s how do y'all feel about that you know especially people who are blessed and they are monetized and their money goes uh, goes tiktok whatever because seriously they don't want to sell out to us which is still some question marks whatever about what what that is because aren't they like owned by some you know people in a business company in china okay that's question mark um the thing is it's like what is next now cap i use cap cut for a lot of for the past year in something I have been using Cat, which has been free. You can also get the Pro one, which is also owned by TikTok. I'm like, is they gonna get rid of it? That just means I would have to, you know, find another one that's similar how to use that. But it's been convenient, very easy to use. So I'm just wondering to go take that out too. Ooh, but I'm just like, I have been using since I've been back on, you know, since I got back on here since last year. I I mean, I'm not consistently on TikTok. I actually, honestly, out of all the social medias, I'm just starting to slowly but surely do Snapchat, which is, I know y'all, it's weird, but I haven't been a person and I still haven't made not even one Snapchat story, not yet. I just have always been a person that occasionally have watched things. I think like the first time, I remember probably, I think I told this before, I don't know, but again, let me tell this here. I used to follow a couple people, like Famous Dex, that that rapper with like Rich Kid and all of them back in the day, and he didn't give dirt, what the heck he put on it, I'm not, I'm not saying, yeah, there was still some limitations, but he was the type of person who used to follow everybody, I didn't know how to use Snapchat, like I said, I would just watch people, and now since we got like DDD, and you know the singles girl um barely her sister chloe barry bailey and how, did i say hey holly i meant to say holly did i say it correctly y'all i hope i did um her sister and you know just watching other people occasionally so i'm starting to get back to snapchat i heard like people are getting some coins on snapchat and I ain't gonna lie, y'all surprised. Even though Snapchat is known for their filters and people use that, I didn't know that it was still extreme, you know, kind of like very popular. So I kind of wonder how, I mean, do they have Snapchat, have chats, live chats? Do they have live chats? I know, I think, I think they have like shows and stuff, but I'm just thinking about what could be possibly replacing. I know some people might use a VPN. Isn't it like, um, VPN is like a, like a private, like, um, like a, pro- uh, like a private setting or like a private, um, um, like IP address, you know, like an internet address, computer address or something like that, where it can't be, you know, but not everybody know or know how to use that or find them, you know, where they're free, you know, how to use that thing. So what we all, we all would think is a good alternative to TikTok was possibly losing TikTok. And if y'all, if you know, if I don't know, like I said, they'll take away a, a, a cap cut you know even um even though there was no mention about it, just because you know you could also sign in your tiktok account with cap cut so i'm just saying like if once if nine times of ten if they take it away what are we gonna use i mean what people are going to use this like i said as an alternative if they take cap cut as well considering personally to me it's been easy to use even say on my phone for example, that's where y'all get a lot of videos from. I ain't gonna lie, but it's free. You do have the option doing pro, but it does offer a lot of features considering they are, you know, uh, afford, you know, for free. So I'm like, I hope, you know, they won't be trying to vote to get rid of that shit the, the two or tick or a tickety top. We taking every damn thing from you. Which we taking cap cut. We take everything else. But I'm just saying, what would be a good alternative, or are they going to make something else to try to not, not China itself? But since TikTok has became so popular, and if since you, you um US one seven, I'm like, well, if they're going to do all that, why don't another company? Is it a good idea to if it's that important? Could um, US possibly or somebody up and coming or a company that's already like here or a new company can take place that and make it so it can run like tiktok but just be another name you know what i mean or already be you know an extension company that's already there that offers 
you know the same thing tiktok has since there there's a chance that being taken away you know like make a replica but not just like you know with the services they provide the modernization and stuff but be where it's worth like okay even if they do replace it you know it's just like something that's just like in a different name you know like how some companies they may get shut down or they may leave or go out of business and but there's something else that can replace it and they just make just as much more they make the same much impact positive impact and even make some more money in some cases you know the impact that they're trying to have you know some things go away and some things come back it just you know it just and with a different name and you know, or a different time or different class different you know so forth so you know that could happen anyway y'all have y'all watched i you know even though i have seen scary movies more so i usually have seen scary movies say like you know when they come on tv and it's edited and stuff i never have like even though i used to think freddy krueger and Ch- chucky some of the stuff is hilarious as hell to me um do y'all you, you know do y'all watch scary movies at all and you know it, there's a more of an increase where we have you know black horror movies you know the, you know they always have been on and off again but it's more of an increase now of black like horror films being out um, I think I talked about this before. The reason why I'm bringing this up now, I'm going my time, and I heard that Wolf James, who's a phenomenal singer, his singing is fine. Is he okay? Yeah, the man is fine. And um, I think he's so right too. And for years now, he has gotten he has gotten into his acting. And when I was I just strolled on Instagram, you know, my main social media I'm on, if I went on the sides besides YouTube, my second, if I went by just social media as far as communications and posts and stuff, because YouTube it has comedian stuff not on it now. It would one of them would be Instagram. The main one's the gram. The third one would be X, Twitter, tweet, a tweet, tweet, whatever it is, tweet a X twitter sometimes i don't i don't go on it all the time but there are certain things especially say using it possibly for some of my stories as far as this is what the person says or this are some of the receipts you know it's good good to have it's not surprised that twitter gets to stay up and maybe you know they be on one because twitter you can see everything now i do uh, you know twitter can be x on some posts sometimes with two more x's being needed y'all know what i mean okay some of the stuff on twitter you know it needs to have a field guard because sometimes you look for certain stuff and next minute you see somebody up here um that <laughs> let me say a word um how many minutes has it been to this thing because this is gonna be on youtube oh okay i'm almost at 20 minutes so i ain't too bad i'm past the 10 minutes part you know somebody you know that don't have a gag with flick i'll just leave it as that okay might pop up or something i i, I i'll leave it to what y'all think or you know uh, gray sweatpants and luke was out of gray sweatpants or something so i uh, um um yeah um but other, other than that um going back to what i was talking about um luke jenks and the black horror thing i'll just be all over the place whatever now when i think about this new series i heard it was a too much y'all got amazon prime and you know pay for that every month y'all this this is another a little um thing i want to tell y'all real quick if y'all get government benefits in y'all states whether it's social security i think you know you know the Obamacare, something like that, Medicaid. I think probably Medicare as well too, or you know SNAP benefits, aka ETP benefits, and so forth. You can qualify, um, apply, and get half benefits off. The same you get Walmart Plus. Walmart Plus has been running for about a year as well, and they just recently, like months ago, offer the same benefits where they include, you know, like you get some delivered. Uh, um, nine times a ten, you get it free instead of paying it delivered. You get groceries free, you know, 
you know, deliver free as opposed to usually, um, you know, paying every time it's delivered. Um, I think pickup is always free regardless. Uh, you can pick it up as always free. Um, I think it has to be $35 or more. But also, um, but though, Walmart Plus offers Paramount Plus, the one with the commercials. Amazon Now Prime has commercials now. The, 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 the original you have to pay a couple bucks more if you want the commercials but yeah it's a series originally it's called them I had to pause for a minute because you know they had us okay now them is an anthropology isn't it oh I'm probably saying one word but it's kind of a series where it's like an, it, it, they usually are isn't that like like it's in different times it could be dealing with the same subject in some way similar but it's a different time settings and the characters and like it seemed like film they may be characters playing different roles you know like it's like an american horror story i tried one season trying to watch that i just I, I cannot get over that i don't care how washed off whatever people could say it fell off whatever i watched one episode y'all can watch i think i only did one or two episodes of that that is posted i am traumatized just by the one scene not the whole darn thing not the whole episode it was the one with lady gaga you know blah blah my bad romance and you know now she's she's good actress and stuff too i don't i don't think lady gaga be all in that crazy crazy shit she was back in the day but that I was not grossed out by any scene. She was like a vampire or somebody. And I'm not spoiled enough that I didn't watch none of the rest of it. I didn't even watch none of the reviews that season after that one episode. I am not going to describe the scene that I had seen, but it is traumatizing as hell. All well, I will say this only it has to do with a monster attacking somebody. And I'll leave it as that. <laughs> because <laughs> if I talk about it y'all I bored so am traumatized that it's gonna have me remember and it's gonna be stuck in my head again it made me not want to watch the rest of the series like I said Lady Gaga was vampire you know so it was scenes blah 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 it, it, that, like I said nothing else bothered me I knew it was gonna be scary you know and maybe some you know some blood stuff said it but that one scene of the monster attacking that man with a tool sorry y'all had a pause I, yeah okay I said I was gonna not traumatize y'all with it but that who that was too much that <laughs> that was it was like grand opening grand closing I was not expecting that but like I said looking at uh, with, with the prime uh, thing like I said you get the prime and you got their streaming service um with stuff that's original or comes with prime and coming with this black horse series and I, you know it was very so a very episode it was a very traumatizing episode from last season with the black fat family what what happened which like i said either you watch somebody else you read about it or you take your chances about what happened to the character what i've heard is that in this particular one there's you know this is set the first one was like in the what, the 1950s i think this one here is actually located it's still i guess in los angeles because i actually have been watching people you know review the show some of them you know like mo dark j i love his channel he usually does like a lot of reviews i found like them starting like watching power 2 which um i should talk about a little bit after this Sorry, y'all. I need to get a little glass of agua. Whew. But anyways. This here in this season is a connection where Swoop James, I heard, played the heck out of his role. I've heard, um, like I said, Mojo J. He's doing per episode. But I have watched a couple people so far that I watch like Ashley Miller. These are people I watch on YouTube, by the way, that I'm listing Ashley Miller. I'm also j- just some I did just some reviews I know that's Brandon I forgot his last name I hope I'm saying his name I just um I hope wait hold on y'all 
while I'm talking here, I want to make sure I give the right, um, um, the right, um, channel holder, content creator, their props and say the right name. Cause there's another channel that says just some reviews. I'm just trying to see. So it's a couple people, like I said, if I've watched the show, but I've watched through reviews and I'm like this, I'm still, even though I agree, like Luke James played probably the hell out the road. Cause people, oh, I just seen on Instagram real quick, just checking it. He, you know, they was, he was just showing like, I guess behind the scenes, he was like doing the air guitar or something, you know, the character role that he plays in this season and this part as them, you know, and, you know, and they were like, you play the hell out the role, blah, 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 and everything, you know, and he, I, I believe he, I, I believe he did, but even despite saying how good his, his um his role was i still don't want to watch it because how i feel about scary movies really now this is the fun part now last year on halloween me my sis my sis of name nick also shout out again in nini's kitchen and my rara her daughter i call us a rara um um we were watching the last Michaels, you know, just, you know, the end Halloween. No, we all watched together. Um, you know, this, you know, the last, yeah, I was about to say the wrong, wrong show. Okay. The last, um, the, the you know, the, the last Michael, um, one, like I said, the only reason why I watched it was because they watched it but like I said I was just um so surprised how boring it was it's very rare when I could watch a scary movie so it's the only thing y'all that I could really watch myself like I said unless they edit it and it's on TV like you come on Saturday nights you know like y'all some of y'all have seen on the station stuff like that you know how they'll have like an edit you know the t if y'all watch the you know the tv stations and stuff to be edited but y'all the only like say movie i could watch myself anytime a place that is a horror movie i realize is two movies that i have found out by watching youtube and people i'm watching um what is what is that movie the bird birds bir, not the birds like hand cough and stuff it's the not the bird flu i gotta think about it y'all because it is so birdemic b i d b bird b i r d e m i c shock and terror i think they got three different ones forever it is so bad it is so bad it's funny that it's a horror movie i can watch um uh with no t- it's another one but i probably am not going to um remember um it was also another Durr movie, and I, I can't find it at the moment what I'm thinking. But that's what I'm saying is, like, Birdemic, I could watch all day. Because when I seen Watch Mojo, which talked about, like, the top ten and stuff like that, and I seen the Durr birds and the man who made it, and you they try to use freak the, the characters, I, you know, in the story are trying to stop these birds who are up here attacking people. They try to attack the van. And this man tried photo, you know, editing and put the birds to attack them. Already, they can't get in the van for whatever reason at first. And they have these wire hangers trying to hit them birds, y'all. But it's so bad. And the birds sound like some squeaky toys. And the birds <laughs> look so bootleg. Even the original, y'all ever played Duck Hunt? The Nintendo Duck Hunt from back in the day? They look for a believable. And they were better off put those in the, it, um... In the darn, <laughs> in the damn, in the damn film, then what the hell we noticed? Oh yeah, another one which I see. Shout out to I first found out about it about this film for when I watched Double Toasted. Like I said, they be doing games, talk about movies and stuff like that, and bad movies usually middle week with a, a, a week and so forth with uh, Corey 
Oh, why do I always get? Because I wanted to say because he looks like I, my uh, Uncle Clyde. Oh, Mark. Uh, not not Mark. I want to say a uh, Mark Martin. Martin and Billy and I think Julius and Julie. I'm hoping to say their names correctly. But anyways, they the ones who put me on this film called Mantles, the Hands of Fate. <laughs> like this, that's another movie, y'all. I can watch by myself. It was it was based on somebody, you know, they won a, if they lost the bet, they had to make a horror film and it got people to help them. But it's so bad, like I said, is I could watch that, but that them, I don't want to watch that even in the daytime. Like I said, I can only watch films like Mantles, like I say, M A N O S, Hands of Fate, y'all. It's pure comedy. There's nothing scary about it yet, but yet it has you scratched your head. Just like, um, like I said, Birdemic. You can watch all of them. <laughs> when I finally found out about it, see some people. Oh gosh, like I said, I, I can't, I can't. I can't. <laughs> now that makes me laugh. I can talk about those. That that is hilarious to me. You you have to. You have to. <laughs> sorry, sorry, y'all. But I, you know, if that's good, hopefully they do recognize and know about um. You know, uh, yeah, it's just my okay. I was about to say wrong now. Brandon, I meant to say earlier, like I said, he also he reboot, uh, reviewed it all the way. Just, just my opinion reviews. Just my opinion reviews is somebody um, I like watching about reviews, like d- different things as well. And he had a different one, which was like um, one where he just talked about in general. And also he had a spoil. Also like struggle reviews too. Terry, I hope I'm saying her name correctly. I, 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 her ch- I've been watching her channel about a year, and, a year or so. She's about to do a live series of discussion of one. Um, but anyways, like I said, despite like people, you know, it depends who you're watching. Some people say it's good. Some people say it's eh. Yeah, I don't know. Um, it's like I said, I would not watch it. I would, like I said, I will watch people's reviews about the sh- about it. You know what they think about it, and um, what what do y'all think? And um, and would y'all watch? Uh, would y'all watch or uh, watch it? Or this is uh, you know this is ridiculous. But other than that, like I said, they ain't got to worry about me watching that show at all. But it's just interesting to find out that even um, even though, um, like I said, I, I do like uh, uh, loot things and stuff. I still, you know, um, <laughs> I, I still feel like um, I don't think I want to watch that show <laughs> at all. I, I'm good. Oh my goodness! Oh, this is this is nice. This is on Teacher Man, not ninety one follow Joshua Becker at six years old is the youngest person to ever attend Oxford University. This is big new- news. Everyone should know about this. Salute shots, greatness only. Okay, this is another one. Brooklynsburg, um, first black owned corner store. The amount of history didn't learn in school time. The first black female paddling Millie Bailey marks a hundred years. Please wish her well. Howard University 2000, 2021 nursing students. That's dope. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see. Oxtailver. Okay. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Now. Besides me ranting, <laughs> ranting and raving and looking at stuff, um, just see. Oh, by the way, uh, Tennessee hires the first ever a uh, hockey head coach. Um. Uh, oh, uh, the first uh, the store hire marks a black hockey uh, hockey coach, the first head coach of a hockey program at a, you know, a story black uh, um. Story Black University. Oh, okay. 
And Cabra is an inaugural member of the NHL Coach Association by po- Coaches Program, which aims to strengthen and support Black Indigenous coaches of color and serves cooling skills development, leadership strategies, communication tactics, necro and creative advancement opportunities. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. That is nice. Oh, oh, I just read the travel. I, I just, I'm not the same. I went to travel nor or something. Um, I just went into this article, you know, a suggestion. I had to go back to Instagram real quick to see something. Uh, travel nor, and they're talking about black owned bookstores to visit the USA. Oh, yeah. Sorry, y'all. You know, I'm hard headed. You know, I just think of talking my donor, don't write stuff down. But I do want to talk about a couple books that I've been auto book reading you know listening aka really listening to but you know i'm on a book right now okay but here we go black owned bookstores are hitting gyms communities across the country and they have a slew of unique books to stumble upon swipe for a few black owned bookstore divisions for a book loving traveler who loves literature from um african dysphoria check out the link for the full li- bio full list okay brave and kind books atlanta georgia Okay, located Atlanta, brand be kind of true to kind. This black owned store prairie caters to children and young adult readers. Every day have food growing up, uh, books and things for the adult traveler as well. Like how many books Washington, D.C. found in 2007. Um, how many books in Washington, D.C. is rooted in blackness. Stores described as unapology black owned and it's run by a family dedicated to helping gain exposure to black books and literature. It's black owned bookstores, Blake Place of Fire, written for about black people, black story. Black Lip, uh, Dallas, Texas. Owner Nina Turner Clark was visiting visiting bus boys poets and watching the scene. She fell in love with being surrounded by books with people who look like her. Today, her bookstore is ensuring black children, adults, and devils have access to written books who look like them. Like I said, they have a list, and I guess it's in this link in. Okay, what does this travel north travel choose their own path? Oh, I'm gonna have to follow him. Let's see what they what is up. Okay, I know I'm just rambling. But like I said, I, you know, let me see. Can I say real quick? Are they going to show like more bookstores? I just saw, I thought I seen the bookstores. Is off the shelves it? Um, Blacktivity. Okay, you know what? I guess I would have to, if I had to do that, I would have to do that save I remember to put down on my next thing because I'm trying I thought I was going to be like you know instantly click dab a dab a little bit and be able to see it real quick and I'm trying to find a link um to see more they said um I could just link on here um oh okay yeah they just wrote this okay this is Atlanta Georgia now these are the ones we've already been through here. Okay, DC, Salt Eaters Bookshop, Inglewood. Many things. Okay, the owner, Asha Grant, raised 81000 through GoFundMe to open her bookstore. Oh, that's dope. Now, independent owners are showing the black fitness stores are shared in her. Black stores, power rights, no additional for religion, including comics, things highlight black women and girls. We're an opening, say, 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 women of color who are reading comics and literature, bus bowls and poets, watching DC, another black ball, uh, bookstore, watching DC, bus bowls and poets, is a real hidden gin, not only bookstore, but also it's a restaurant, community gathering place in multiple locations. This unique hub for creativity, food, and community got its name from Poet Langston Hughes, who worked as a busboy at Warren Park Hotel in 1920s before ascending to literary fame. Today, Busboys and Poets has good food and good books and feasts to souls of travelers and locals. Read um, 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 CBC, New Orleans, LA. Okay, it's community bookstores in New Orleans have been open, providing access to literature since 1983. The community books prides itself of being more than a bookstore. In addition to having tons of books by back over the book offers and consistently raise money to support depending locally on bookstores. Semicolon in Chicago, Illinois. Semicolon is Chicago's largest book woman bookstore. The owners are dedicating to bridging the gap between minority communities. They accomplish mission by investing in books, writers, and surrounding community. 
It opened 2019 and is the process of moving to a loca- another into a new location in Chicago. In the meantime, some of the cool online stores still open and travelers can um, visit them soon. Black Lib, we already talked about that. And that is so far. I know hopefully the one that was I had actually when I was doing this during the getting pandemic. It was a bookstore that was open in one of the Carolinas. And the sad part is they're going to have to close down a case that just open because you have people who are, you know, threatened, who are threatening, you know, leading, you know, unlock threats and stuff to the family. So they're going to have to, cl- I don't know if they're going to move the location or just close the store down, whatever, but we're going to send positive vibes to them anyway, because that's ridiculous. They used to have a black store up in here in Detroit, but they don't have it no more. They, you know, well, um, I haven't been going, I ain't going to lie to bookstores in some years, but, you know. But anyway, still. Now, I have finished reading the book from, now, I got, I found Alexandria Warren's, I finished Oops, and it was Nova Vela which is a, a, basically a short book basically short story basically that was attached listen to that um i was trying to find i didn't know it was alexandria house i hope i'm saying the name correctly there's a series you know because I, I ain't gonna lie i realized i like one of my favorite books to read yeah our black not just like specifically it's like black black literature but I do love romance books more so a lot. So I have been, um, you know, been listening to quite a few lately. Um, I'll probably go back to a couple memoirs and stuff as well. Um, so they suggested Alexandria House, and I just finished not too long ago reading, um, aka this really listening to a book in the McLean I, she has a couple books that are you know m- you know series goes in a series of books and these are from McLean brothers and the first book is you should let me lo-, you know it's uh, I'm saying the whole title Mario song when he really got <laughs> I meant to say let me love you is the first book because I think the brothers are McLean brothers now I'm in the second book you sh- I mean I'm about to say it again you should <laughs> I meant to say uh, let me hold you. So I'm on like chapter five, chapter six, and it's so much easier to read y'all um, these books because you know how you can just speed speed up. And I didn't do that at first, but I was listening to Tia Williams, you know, the Perfect Fine, which I used by using a, a free trial by Audible with that that particular one. Um, I realized that you know you can speed it up and it doesn't like you know you can't you know like if you're listening to it and if, it, if it's because if it's if it's too speeding too fast you're like wait a minute what did what the hell they just said I was able to understand what they're saying by speeding up a bit um um you know the, the playback so I have been doing that a little bit um, uh, um like halfway through the book or this book I kind of started at least like at one point one point two five or whatever, and I like I said I want to finish out the rest of the the series with that one. It's three books, and I think a novella. I think they got it. I know I'm probably mispronouncing the word, but yeah, y'all, that's the books I've been more so reading, and I'm going to go back to Alzit Warren and a couple other people I found, and I got a memoir by a woman named Natasha. <laughs> you know I, I didn't choose the book only because the woman has my, you know because of the name Natasha but I the book I think it's called America uh, uh, Black Neg- uh, Negra um I got a couple days to read because I also got like books um that also the library and also like I said that I found in my library the Hoopa which allows you to rent books there as well and it's you know as long as your library is included is another place that you can also rent books or watch movies and stuff there as well um so i've been um like i said been watching watching that i mean uh 
have books as well too. And it's one of those things I like about Hoopla is it's easier in most cases if you um if you you know like say rent a book out you can rent it back again the next you know next time it's not something where say there's a strong chance if it's a book in demand that you have to wait again you know so but also too oh jessica i've seen her for years and i actually that was a suggestion was um jessica in walk-ins um, you know, she has certain books that are, you know, mostly hardcover books. I, I actually love, like, books still that are hardcover as opposed to, like, say, either I, I, this is personally me, y'all. Either I like them as an audible form, you know, listening audiobook, or, you know, like, have them as, you know, in a book form. Because unless I have no choice, and of course, you know, if you want to be, you know, say, paper, and it's just easier times, yeah, you, I go ahead and, like, read it online and stuff. But I just personally to me, I I like like books in a physical form or listening form. I mean, I used to sometimes when I started listening to other books, I used to kind of, you know, <coughs> excuse me. I had an auto book form I listened to rent out and then I had like a Kindle version or for free or I got for, you know, a dollar that had sale prime and would listen to both the book you know read alone basically while I'm listening to the book but now either I just listen to the book or if I have physical heart you know you know paperback hardcover version of it and but I did I did it was a suggestion um from oops it was say my effing name that's exactly the name of the title and you know just to let y'all know you say y'all want to listen to say romance books probably um you know probably you don't know you know also it, it's view discretion advice as far as your ears because i do notice if i have read or listened to three different black authors who are no 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 four um in advance have listened to their books or and or if you want to count it, that as reading, which you know is listening, you know. All four of them, when they talk about the love scenes, you're gonna get every detail, every detail. Okay. Ew. Well, I'm just saying. See, that's why I couldn't even read even horror books, and I don't want to. You know, let me add that too. I don't even want to read horror books, cause. As detailed as has they described the scenes in you like the book romance, you be like, oh my! And it's interesting to hear it audible for because the people you know who have to read the books and have to read, <laughs> have to read in detail, and sometimes have to like say what the person is saying, you know, during the love scenes, the sex scenes, the relationship scenes, the loving scenes, or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it just tickles me because you know say you listen out loud and say you got the door open to some of somebody nobody's heard it yet but you got you know I mean, i'm just saying is they are very detailed if you are um li- you know are listening um you know to a romance novel you ain't even gotta there's not a lot of erotica books i first thought i was trying i still haven't even i haven't even read to listen to a zane book yet Okay, I think also Norway, she's, they, they're supposed to have, like, um, erotic books as well, but you don't even have to get erotic books, just get you these romance novels, I'm like, whoa, I know I've been out the game as far as, like, reading and stuff, you know, like, if y'all, you know, like I said, I, Omar, Fly Girl, and all that stuff, I, I think they, uh, Fly Girl is, I don't know why they never, they could have made a movie out of that, Fly, Fly Girl, I think the last book is the only book that doesn't have, um, that don't, does have, all, I used to actually have all those books, until my niece had snook and took them as a child, and I've never seen them ever since then, whatever, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm calling out my niece Isha, okay, anyway, but like I said, it is very deep. You know, it'd just be like a regular dra- drama with maybe possibly some romance. But even though, like I said, J.N. Watkins is like, I guess you would say like, 
is a romance with some hood in it type of stuff whatever it's still it's like a drama romance with drama type of books i guess she has and because i always seen her books like you know secrets of the side bitch i'm the side nigga you know nah nigga love love i'm like i do want to read that and oh my gosh y'all I have like the old the first um Alexa right I got plugged back in I actually knocked her out I know this is rambling but this has to do with book so I didn't know um it's my old audible account that I had on it so I said play the audible book because I thought it was the one that I got connected now you know like I said I'd be trying to get one for the free trial heck <laughs> or discounting where it's not not a dollar per you know for three months or something like that I, not now, I ain't about to be paying, you know, fourteen some fifty dollars a month. You know, that'd be in the future, but not right now, okay? But anyways, y'all, um, there's a book that I got. I didn't know it was on here. And who's this author called? Called Old Thought? Is the book name is Old Thought, y'all? I mean, what the hell? And I, I need to get back to, but like I said, I got, I have like the old Alexa, still works good as heck. It was on sale for $5 at Prime. They offered it to me, so, I mean, on Amazon, so I took it. And y'all, I'm just like tickled. It, it's, 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 it's like, you gotta be freaking kippy, but I couldn't stop listening, but I had to stop. Yeah, it's called The Old Thought Next Door by Quan Mills. I could have sw- you know, it was a lot of books I always said, oh, they, no, oh, it's somebody else that got the thought next door, too. Yeah, they, <laughs> Qu- yeah, um, I forgot who else that, but yeah, they got Stan the Coldest Mistress, Ezra, Savage and Side Bitches, Rotten Little Peaches, The Family Crackhead, she's, oh, oh that's somebody else, um, that Shamik spell like you know how to be having like I said uh like shocking okay pregnant by my sister's baby dad number two kid of glow but what the heck they got audio outbooks what the hell is up with these titles oh I think Shamik 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 something whatever be having like sometimes titles but I do like the ones that are like more so like but past like there, there's romance and stuff involved you know it's, it's a love story involved or something's gonna happen but yeah i probably will tell y'all next time about this book. but all of them I, i'm not gonna lie so far i have had you know actually have um went ahead and had um all four books so far i've listened to I actually had liked them personally. I mean, yeah, they all have good rates, but that don't mean that I'm going to like them. But I like them so far. I like um, all four of those. Uh, so, um, some of the books are free. Some of them got on a waiting list that I would get, or hopefully I get on the credit, or you know, would get in the near future. But yeah, y'all, that's the books I'm reading so far. I'm also wanted to. Um, it's a couple of black sci-fi books i want to also um get into as well but yeah y'all i've recently i've been back to listening or at least even like getting the books even if it is auto books that way y'all do y'all listen or read any books at all you know even self-help you know self just any type of books and if, if you are you know what's your favorite gene and stuff I mean, that's not the only gene, but that's one of my genes I'm starting to like. All the, uh, the black, uh, rom- you know, romance ones, I'm starting to like. You know, like I said, the, the J- Jessica and Watkins is the one so far that's kind of like more like if you got like got a little drama, a little, you know, dash of crime in there and stuff like that. That's more so in there. Um you know uh, it could be like romance with drama with the other ones but it does have like romance where it's not like all over the uh, over the uh, over the place person to me um but yeah now i'm on like i said the second book with the second mclean brother and like i said y'all if you like the second came up yeah i think it's three or four mccain brothers with um whatever books 
and there are books that you know some books that are audible they have books that are only audible has where you have to pay for credit and some of the books you can possibly even find through your library you have a library card and then also ak through hoopla if you're you know your library you know is connected or has a partnership with a hoopla as well um you can find them that way you know as well you you know trying to like say you know save some coins or go you know your local bookstore and give them as well sorry y'all i didn't really even talk about really stuff in the, in the media that much i just was rambling you know y'all but i'm my thing is to make sure i'm, I'm a consistent and so forth and so like i said y'all um you know it's been so much but i will say this y'all it's been so much beef that i mean we got enough beef that we can like have several cookouts or probably could feed you know all the beef that we've been seeing lately y'all been looking at especially in the rap hip-hop area and and shit and slash like um it even rolled over a little bit to r&b and stuff like we had enough of beef that we could get have a burger joint and fed them they're probably everybody if they wanted to almost everybody at the seven hundred thousand people was at the nf draft down downtown you know downtown detroit this this, this past weekend but anyway y'all hugs and love you know i'm going to remind myself to make sure i get back on here you know maybe just make sure the podcast and get back on my bids but thank you y'all who rock me out first time finding me with that whatever continue find me you know and I, I, i'll i'm just gonna keep in touch i'm not i'm not gonna keep um saying i'm just gonna um i'm just gonna do okay but anyway y'all i hope y'all enjoy the rest of y'all month and i'll see y'all next month with probably another podcast and hopefully by then i will um have another podcast and also youtube video slash tiktok video for you and um and and so forth but anyway um hugs and loves y'all y'all take care uh god bless 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 up to everybody you know what i'm saying y'all have a good week good month good good next month and i'll see you on the next one take care